Hello everyone, what we have here today is the unboxing of the Shivers. Shivers is a pop-up tabletop mystery adventure. It's a mix of games, it's kind of like mixed game. It says here that it is appropriate for ages 14 and over, 2 to 5 players and takes 30 to 60 minutes to play. I have not played yet. Is the box? It's brand new. Just came in the mail, and we're gonna check it out the box. So it's well packed. Okay, as you can see, it's well, well packed. All the corners are intact. Comes the expansion packs one and two. This one here is the Deluxe Edition, so it comes with everything that they offer on Kickstarter. And let's open up, let's see what is inside. Opening the gaming up, we have, here's the box. The box is small, but it's very heavy, very, very heavy, so everything must be very compact in here. We have a RSVP card, part 3 basic components, the cardboards, you know, the players, the kickstands, kick the miniature players, Series A characters, and these are back. Very good quality, very, very good quality on the card. Okay, you can see it's a very good quality. This is Series B, if you have the Series B, very good quality, and all the Little monsters. Create a character. So if you like to draw, you can create your own characters. The cat and the dog expansion was unique for Kickstarter, I guess. There's a history, history book, the Shivers book. Shivers full instruction book. I think this is an expansion, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Evil Tent. There's another expansion here. Two small but useful lenses. Uh, cheap quality. You can see some issues inside there, some some dirt even. You know. They work. Not the best quality though. Character boards. This is Mr. Riley. Rashida. Francis. Elijah, Brighton, and Autumn. The three dice. This expansion comes with uh, three dice. Character uh, standees. Two. Blackboard, standard blackboard, the small blackboard uh, pens. I think that's what you know, I'm supposed to use as small as possible. On this side here, you have the pop up. So, series C. Series D. I think those are expansion. I'm not sure. 
<coughs> some of the pop-ups room this is the creepy courtyard room the bleak basement room I'm gonna open each one of the rooms Lobson laboratory room I think it's add-on to add to a background or maybe uh, like a corridor that's what they say at least a spooky study room Kitchen, cluttered kitchen room. I think this is the main border. Peculiar pallor. That's the main board. So the altar of the game, okay, the guy that invented the game, he released this week. Um, a how-to video to show to some people how to fix the rooms if they came with problems. You see, some of the rooms have a little buttons here that are glue, and some of these buttons have no glue or too much glue, so they didn't work properly. And what you have to do is you have to just open up, like where it goes the card here. If the card gets stuck and doesn't go in. You open up and then you you insert a knife, a blunt knife from the corner, and then you can remove the glue from the corner. Okay. So this one will be my first room that I'm gonna open. You and he said you have to open very carefully so you don't rip anything. Okay. First time opening the room. It looks very nice. Everything oops, opens up. You gotta straighten up some chairs and stuff. There we go. If you play with any pop up room before, you have to be very gentle. This thing is not uh, super sturdy. You know, you gotta be gentle. You have, you can open items like this clock. There we go. And the idea is that you put it in a backer here, insert, insert right here, and then insert is going to have what the room needs, that story, okay? So it looks very good, everything works, nothing stuck, I don't see nothing stuck in here, at least mine opens everywhere. There you go. You can open little doors, see plants. Let me get one of those uh, cards and we see how how everything works out. So the idea here is that you pop out one of these standees and then you put on the corner. Here's one standee, here's another one. Okay, then we're gonna open the lost kitchen initially. Here it is, lost kitchen. There you go. It's a nice uh, reusable glue over here. And there is couple stories, at least on mine, in couple stories, different stories. And we're gonna put it, okay? You can see the flame down there. On the back it has help or guides for the storyteller and I'm just gonna pop out pop pop in actually there you go and actually I think you can uh, reverse this thing yeah you can reverse as well so there's two stories in each side yes yes you can reverse I'm gonna reverse and luckily mine goes in no problem at all look look how good it looks very nice very nice indeed 
So it's very delicate, you know? Very delicate. This is not miniatures, normal miniatures that you can drop on the ground and stuff like that. Everything is delicate in here. And then you're gonna sit behind and you're gonna read a story. And two to another two at least, another two people at least, or another four people are gonna be your participants. And you're gonna tell the story and they go and start looking in the room, looking at stuff and finding out about the story. So when they say 14 years of age and over, I don't think so. I think even a little kid can play. You know, I'm gonna try uh, this week, I'm gonna post it up this week. Uh, I'm gonna try to play with my five year old, nine year old and 14 year old. All ranges, all ranges. See how they, uh, they like the game. And the stand is, I'm gonna pop one. I'm gonna pop this one here. Let's see how the stand is work. If they, if they fit properly or not. They're pretty thick, see? It's pretty thick cardboard. They're pretty good quality too, look at that. Very good quality, okay? Nice printing. I'll not have made in 3D. I think uh, the standees, color standees are, are very nice, you know, nice addition. This guy here is called Professor Megar Tribe Boyd. I see a problem here. When you put it in, the standy, his name disappears. See, Professor? So it should be a little bit longer. It should be a little bit longer in there. Now I don't know his name. If there's a reason to have his name there, it should be visible, right, at all times. But it fits perfectly and it stays up. I like it. I like very much and I think we're gonna have a blast so if you like the video please subscribe so you can follow me up okay and um, I'll keep posting thank you very much appreciate it